left. The heart's got four chambers and has four heart valves that control the flow of blood into those chambers and in between those chambers and out of the heart eventually. And so these valves over time can either get stenotic, which is they get tight, or they can get leaky, called regurgitation or incompetence. The commonest valvular heart disease is aortic stenosis, which is a calcification of the aortic valve, which controls the flow of blood from the main pumping chamber of the heart to the rest of the body. So it is important to know the symptoms. You can have shortness of breath with activity. The two symptoms that are probably more uh, um, common is uh, dizziness, unexplained dizziness, passing out, swelling of your legs, typically what's called heart failure. So valvular heart disease can lead to heart failure, shortness of breath with activity. Sometimes it's just tiredness. Um, so, you know, those are symptoms to watch out for. If, probably the most important symptom is shortness of breath with activity. Now, sadly, there are many reasons why a person can be short of breath with activity, including just being overweight and physically inactive. But before we blame it on that, make sure you see a doctor who listens to your heart you know, make sure and ensures that nothing else is in play.